An important oh. reminder while the hot weather sticks around, pay special attention to food safety, you know, especially when you're taking a picnic out and about or something. And also, what you're eating. Joining us now, registered dietitian, nutritionist with Adventist Health, mm. Kendra Thrasher, who brought this beautiful layout. I mean, look <laughs> at this. This screams summer, yes, Kendra. Yes, absolutely. It really does. Yes. So first, though, what do we need to be thinking about when it comes to food safety? So uh, during the summer months, we typically find ourselves cooking outside a lot more. Grilling is one of the favorite ways of um, doing this. So there's a lot of things that you want to take uh, precautions of when you're uh, grilling out. The main one is, you know, cross contamination. So you oh, want to sure you don't want juicy meat yeah. juice yeah. on something right. else right. over here. Yeah. Right. Okay, right. So, and you don't want to leave food out too long in the right. heat. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You want to keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold. So, you know, if it's a cold food, keep it packed on ice or keep it in the refrigerator until it's time to serve. Um, you know, you want to avoid you know, cutting your foods that are meant to be served raw with the same cutting boards and utensils that you've cut your raw meat with. Um, avoid, you know, plating that raw meat back or the cooked meat back on the plate that with you that, the brought raw the raw meat out yeah. onto Bring the grill. Bring out with. a new platter. Yeah. All yeah. important things. All, yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what do you have for us? I'm thinking you went to the garden and you brought in everything fresh you could. Find. All from my garden. And no. this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good job I that wish. you can grow watermelon and yeah. yeah. limes and all right? this. I know. So yeah. why would we be eating this now? Just because so, a it's healthy. Yes. Uh, well, the summer. Well during this heat wave especially summer months are a time when it's you know we need to be thinking even more about our hydration okay yeah. we require more water and fluids in the mm. summer months and the water that we you know need in our bodies can also come from food and so fruits and vegetables just are a great source of high water content foods. All right. Yeah. Especially mm -hmm. this watermelon of and you know, cantaloupe. cucumbers, And cantaloupe. this is gazpacho, like a cold yeah. soup with vegetables in right. it. Right, yes. Well, you wouldn't have to talk to me twice about eating this big fat yeah. red tomato, right? <laughs> Sorry, you said Enjoy. you were going to wait until after the <laughs> segment. I'm Does hydrating. I'm yeah. hydrating. Yeah. Yes, All you right. are. It's mm -hmm. yes. You know, we had a doctor on the show, was it yesterday or the day before, I think, and, and, and they told us when it gets hot, our metabolism actually increases. Right. And I didn't know that, yeah. so it's important to eat a lot, and right. and you might as well take advantage of what's fresh, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you say, excuse me, spicy foods mm -hmm. are okay. Right. Yeah. So what's up with that? Because spicy foods actually trigger a signal in your brain to sweat. The sweat is Wait. the cooling mechanism. Really? Okay. And so it doesn't sound, you know, like it actually is true, but spicy foods can actually be cooling for your body. Mm -hmm. I did not know. Well, now that I think about it, I, I do sweat if I have some crazy, you know, <laughs> some pepper or something. Hot, yeah. right. Spicy, yeah. but I didn't. Uh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. interesting. And yeah. okay. what's this? So mm. that is an example of a smoothie. Okay. Um, so the smoothie and gazpacho are some different ways to prepare your meals, you know, cold. They're just different foods that you know form a complete meal right. and can be. So what did you cold. put in here in the smoothie? So that would be strawberries, um, banana, mm. um, a little bit of coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Probably delicious, mm. and yeah. of course oh, yeah. iced tea, but mint right. especially. Right, mint is actually one of the cooling herbs too. So really? that can be just put in. You can infuse your own water. You can add it to salads. You're telling me this will actually help my body temperature regulate yes. itself? Yes. Yeah. I did not know. Yeah. I'm glad I watched. I'm this saying show. yes just because I'm siding with her. Well, I didn't, yes. I did not know that. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Okay. Well, that's all fantastic. All right. And mm -hmm. you're with Adventist. Yes, yeah. Adventist Health Portland. Wonderful. So, so I'm sure you guys have some more information on a website about we how to do. eat healthy. We do. We will have these things posted on our website. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. You're but busy. it's 100 degrees on Sunday. I'm going to be drinking mint iced tea all day long. Yeah. Doesn't that sound good, though? <laughs> yes, it, it does. It really does. 